we're back for part two of La Lobster Cafe. Remember, I told you it was written by, let me get to that page, Marilyn Sprink and illustrated by Steve Clark. Remember who wrote the story and who drew the pictures. The person who wrote the story was Marilyn Sprink and the person who drew the pictures was Steve Clark. So chapter two, returning some kindness. The next day, Edith arrived at the hotel a little early. Instead of reporting to the cafe, Edith stopped by the lobby. Soon, either Edith had gathered a room full of jellies around her. The jellies were bobbling up and down in agreement with Edith. Yes, yes, yes. They agreed Lobster Lou's kindness should be returned. The jellies floated up and down the hallways of the old hotel, visiting other sea creatures and echoing Edith's words. Acts of kindness should be returned. Acts of kindness should be returned. At 2.30, Edith unlocked the closed cafe. In floated the jellies, in crawled the crabs, in swam the salmon and tuna. Grandmother Octopus and her grandchildren were part of the group too. Sea creatures, big and small, crowded into the lobster cafe and everyone busily set to work. The crabs brought new shells and decorated the walls. The seahorses polished the silver. The tuna set up their band. The salmon got busy in the kitchen. Grandmother Octopus and her grandchildren sat in one of the booths, writing and coloring. By 3.48, everything was ready. The salmon hid behind the counter. The jellies hung like one big chandelier at the center of the room, and the seahorses and crabs all scurried to find a hiding spot. Grandmother Octopus pulled her arms and body until no one could see her. Everyone found a place to hide just in time. At exactly four o'clock, Lobster Lou unlocked the doors to the cafe. He entered silently. The old lobster was stunned. He looked around in wonder. Lobster Lou clapping his big claws together and muttered, well, I'll be. All that? All the sea creatures emerged from the hiding places and exclaimed, Surprise! Surprise! Lobster Lou said, What is this? It isn't my birthday. Grandmother Octopus said, Lou, you have shown great kindness to all of us. We want to thank you. Then Grandmother Octopus and her grandchildren gave Lou a book called Lobster Lou's Act of Kindness, Great and Small. Next, the salmon talked about the great fry bread and wujape Lou had made for them. The hermit crabs put on a fashion show and the salmon brought out a special dinner they had cooked for Lou. The evening passed quickly with laughter, music, and stories. Towards the evening's end, the sea creatures chanted, Speech! Speech! Lobster Lou stood up and bowed stiffly. In his gruff old voice, Lou said, You have honored me deeply. I don't know what to say. Then he said simply, thank you. Oops. 
When Lou finished talking, Edith Eel said, We've decided this should be Lobster Lou's day. Everyone cheered. Then Edith pinned a beautiful heart of gold to Lou's chest and smiled. Everyone smiled. It was a day to remember. To this day, when someone needs cheering up, the sea creatures say, Go visit Lobster Lou. He has a heart of gold. Thanks for listening to the second, the end of our story. I hope you guys enjoyed it.